Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy, Walfrey. I'm gonna talk all things hockey. This video, I'm gonna be previewing the Colorado Avalanche's 21 NHL season. So, we all know the Avalanche are absolutely insane. So, there's really not gonna be much to talk about. Usually, all these teams I'm talking about are pretty bad, and I'm gonna be like talking about what they need to do better and all that stuff. But if I'm being completely honest, they're gonna be an absolute powerhouse once again in the NHL. Um, I feel like they're gonna be winning the Central Division. Um, they're just half stacked. Um, they're probably going to be the winners of the West if they stay healthy in the playoffs. But it's either them or the Knights, in my opinion, or Calgary. But but Colorado is this good, and I'll be telling you why. But first, before we get into the video, you can drop a like. You can also subscribe to the channel. We're on the road to 1K, and you can join the Wild family. It would be much appreciated, but let's get straight into it. Um, they have $1.8 million in cap space. It's not good, but it's not bad at the same time. Um... They don't have that much leverage on any trades, but they're not going to be making many trades, if I'm being completely honest. But um, other than that, it's fine. Uh, draft picks here, they don't have any. They have a first, third, then fifth through seventh. They do not have a second and a fourth, so it's not terrible. Still have the first. They got, that's really all you really care about. Um, but yeah, it's not bad so far. On to fours here. This team is absolutely stacked. Just wait. The whole entire lineup is absolutely nasty. Miko Rantanen, 9.2 .2 million for five more years. This guy's insane. If he stays healthy and keeps playing with Lang with if he keeps playing with Landis Skog and McKinnon, they're top three first line in the league by far. Um, but if once again, if he stays healthy, you'll be absolutely insane. Once again, just the usual ranting we're used to. Then Nathan McKinnon, top three NHL player currently in my opinion. Um, he's going to be number one. I think he's he's up there with McDavid. You can't even, you can't say anything. Yes, McDavid's McDavid, but it's it's McKinnon. Like, look at that team friendly deal, bro. Six point three million for Nathan McKinnon. What? But very good player, obviously. Um, there's really not much to talk about with McKinnon. This guy's absolutely insane. He'll be a superstar for a long time. Then there's Gabriel Landeskog, the captain. Uh, 5.5 for one more year. He's obviously going to get re-signed, but um, he's good. He is good. Once again, the whole team needs to stay healthy because that's the only reason why they did not move on against Dallas last season because they were not healthy. But other than that, Gabriel Landeskog is good. A good leader. Good everything above. He's a good player. Then they just traded for Brandon Saad. Um, he's a good player. Um, See if he can put up the points again like he used to do in his career. Last couple of seasons haven't been the greatest, but we all know that he can get to a 70-point mark. He can get there if he plays with the right people and has a breakout year. So I'm expecting a lot on this team for sure. Then there's Andre Burakovsky. Yes, a lot of Capital fans hated him. Not, not hated him, but just disliked him because he wasn't doing the best anymore with, uh, with the Capitals. But last season with, on the Avalanche, he did very good. I did not expect him to do that good, but he did his thing. And proved all the Capitals fans wrong. He just wasn't playing with the right people on that call with the on the Capitals. Nazem Kadri, um, he did very good. Um, last season wasn't the greatest with points, but playoffs he absolutely popped off. He did very good in the playoffs. Um, but once again, he's a very good, very good player. Uh, center, good center. Obviously, a lot of people don't like him. He wasn't dirty. He didn't get suspended in the playoffs, which is a good thing not used to happening but yeah he's a good player Jonas Donskoy um he's actually good he's very underrated in my opinion he's does he's not gonna be putting up 50 to 60 points but he he can get up there he's gone up to 40 he can do his thing right there he's a good death player that a lot of teams really should want he's a good player only 3.9 mil very cheap too Pierre Edward Belmar um he's a good player he's very good death player he's a good penalty killer he was very good on the Knights and I think he did very good Tyson Jost this guy's weird he's I remember when he came to the league and he's been playing a couple seasons. I've always thought of him about being a very good, talented young player that will put up a lot of points and will be elite. But he hasn't been that. I don't know why. This team is so talented. And it's him, I feel like he should be playing. He's playing with good players. He should be able to put up all those points. But for some reason, it's just not clicking for him. So I feel like he should get traded or something like that to make him get a new picture and just help him. Because a lot of players like that, like Burakovsky, is not doing good on one team, but the switch is doing another one and just pops off. I think he just needs that. On to defense here. Um, this is very good once again. You got Eric Johnson, six mil. That might be a little much for him now, but he's still a very good player. Um, I don't think he's going to get traded unless he really wants to, but there's no reason to want to. But he's a good player. Um, then we go to Samuel Gerard. This guy is very good. He's young. Five, five million for seven years. He is locked up, but 
Obviously, he's a good player. He's a very good. He could score. He could do everything. Yes, he's a little small, but hey, he doesn't matter because he can do it on the offensive side and obviously do good on the defensive side. Then there's Ian Cole. This guy is just a team player. Um, obviously, we all seen him get his teeth blown out on the Penguins. He's just a good team player. I've heard all good things about him. Um, he might not be the best defenseman, might not be the best offensive defenseman, but he's just there to be a good team player and he can still obviously play some defense. Devon Tays, uh, 4.1 for four more years. He just got traded from the Islanders. So this guy's very good. Um, he's underrated. I don't know why the Islanders even traded him, if I'm being completely honest. This guy's good. I think the Islanders really made a mistake for trading him. Ryan Graves. This guy's very good. Um, he came out of nowhere, if I'm being honest. I really didn't, haven't heard of him until like last season. But last season really made a name for himself. And I think he will be very good in the future, just like every one of all these de other defensemen on the team. They're just stacked. Then we haven't even talked about Kale McCarr. The Calder Trophy winner. This guy's insane. Um, he's very good. There's really not much to say. Um, I think Quinn Hughes should have won that, but I'll get over that. Um, but he's going to be a top three defenseman in the NHL. He's already almost top five. He's going to be elite. He's going to be. He's going to be like an Eric Carlson, but better. And I haven't even talked about Boehm Byram yet. He hasn't even on the team yet. That's how stacked they are. Oh no. Um, this is the one downfall though for the Avalanche fans. Philip Grubauer and Pavel Frantsov. Yes, it's good, but it's not great. Um, it could be way better. Um, I feel like that's one big downfall for them. I'm surprised they didn't go for a goalie in the uh, in the free agency, but it is what it is. They have they these guys can win some series as you saw last season, but I feel like once they get to the Cup Finals and they have to maybe rely on their goalie for two games, they might not. They might not win. It's just that I just feel like these guys aren't great, but they're obviously very good. But I just don't know if they're elite enough for them to win a Stanley Cup. But we'll find out next season. These guys are good, but I don't know how they can do deep in the playoffs. But other than that, guys, that is going to be this video. It's going to be a quick one here. Uh, we all know how good this team is. We're all expecting them to go far. I already said I'm expecting them to be first in the West next season. Um, I think they'd probably go to the Stanley Cup Finals if everything goes well and they all stay healthy. But that's that. I think comment, uh, make sure to comment down below what do you think they're going to do next season. I think they'll be good. Do you agree? But yeah, guys, thank you for watching. If you guys did enjoy it all, you could drop a like. You can subscribe to the channel. We're on the road to 1K, and you could join the Wilds family. Much appreciated. See ya. Bye.